Hey y'all, how's it going? I am just finishing up writing a blog post. Yesterday was just weird. I actually like slept most of the day, which is like odd. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm having one of those like moments in pregnancy where you know you're doing good you're moving shaking like you know i'm in my second trimester so like i feel like pretty normal like most days but yesterday was just so weird because i took sarai to her Gigi's house right and literally just like didn't do anything for the rest of the day like i was in the bed kind of like in and out of sleep all day for me it's hard to have those days because like Sunday, I was thinking like, okay, what's my week look like? What's my week look like? And I just felt like blocked. Like I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't even think about what my week is looking like because I just like feel like all over the place, but like nothing was all over the place. I just felt all over the place. So whenever I had gone and dropped off Sarai and came home, it was like foggy outside, it was raining and Mark was here and he was supposed to be like out and about all day, right? Like him and Sarai were supposed to be out. He was supposed to be like have all these meetings or whatever, but he ended up basically pushing everything to today because I had told him before I left that I was kind of like chilling yesterday like I wasn't gonna do too much but I also was trying to get my mind right and I just felt like odd and then whenever I got home he was like you know I just pushed everything till tomorrow because I felt like I wanted to just you know chill out with you like it just felt like one of those days where we just both needed to just like chill out and just like decompress and so we did that and it was so interesting because like through yesterday I was just like shouldn't I be do some doing something like shit I got stuff to do like I got stuff to do. I should be up and should be and should be and should be and should be. But I asked God, I was like, what do you want me to do today? And he simply said rest. And I was like, ah, but I have stuff to do. But he said rest. So I rested and now I definitely feel like the next day I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I have more energy, but I'm still kind of tired. And I was talking to Mark about it last night and I was just like, you know, I feel like I'm hitting another one of those points in my pregnancy where it's another like slow down point. I feel like now that this is my second pregnancy, I've been able to kind of understand like more of what my body is telling me and what I need and also like progress aggressively slowing things down over the course of being pregnant versus trying to like go, 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 go until I can literally cannot anymore. And I was talking to him about that last night and I was like, you know, I feel like I'm hitting that point again of like, you're getting farther along and you need to slow down more. And that may look like only working two or three days out of the week instead of trying to go after it every day. And so I felt like yesterday was one of those days where my body was just like need rest need to calm down need to just chill out even though my brain was like still wired and still trying to do stuff and then on top of that it's just like in the last like week or so still trying to make up for the week that we lost from the whole cold weather thing but also like we had a lot of stuff from family like family wanted to see us and you know catching up with everybody so like making sure that we get that time with them and have them see Sarai and you know we saw a bunch of family just over the weekend so we were on the move from like Friday and then Sunday we invited over Mark's brother and his wife and their kids and I got to a point where before they even left like I was sitting at the table and I just felt this immediate like level of exhaustion like I slipped into the bedroom and went to sleep literally like didn't say nothing to Mark didn't say nothing to nobody and he came in and checked on me and I was just like I'm okay I'm just like tired after that then yesterday of like like, okay, needing to sleep all day. And I did not have trouble sleeping last night either. So I'm like, all right, I need to just like slow down and be okay with that. Even though I have a lot on my plate and I'm trying to, you know, fight the urge to like do the most now because the baby's coming. Because when I was pregnant with Sarai, it was like this thing where I was just like rushing and rushing and rushing to work up until like the month before she came. That's when I actually slowed down. But I didn't even really slow down, slow down. The month before, I kind of still was like out here trying to do stuff. But um, I, this pregnancy has been different. It's been sucking a lot of life out of me. With Sarai, I still had more energy than I do now, but also I have another kid. So I 
I'm also like doing more than I was when I was pregnant with Sarah because we didn't have no other like babies around. So I'm just trying to figure out what my pace is and finding what's comfortable, but also realizing that like what's comfortable this week may not be comfortable next week. I may have more bandwidth next week than this week. With my personality type, I'm a Capricorn. I like to strategize. I like to plan. Because of those things, I'm just even more like struggling to to adjust to the fact that like I can't really do that right now. Thankfully, all of the brands that I'm working with right now and my manager is very understanding and just accommodates for me in so many ways. My manager, Monica, is just awesome. Like she is like the barrier for me. <laughs> Super appreciative of her, of, you know, my girl Rosalind. She kind of acts as a, <laughs> I don't even want to call her an assistant because she's more than an assistant. She's more of like a ad hoc business partner that is like somebody that I just feel close to and I trust and any new venture or anything different I want to do or anything I want to like grow on or expand or build more of like I tap her to help me with so I also have her as kind of like my extra set of hands whenever I need it and then also Mark like Mark steps up so much like so much with shooting stuff if I need it to just making sure the house is clean honestly <laughs> like it's hard for me to work in a space that's not clean and we're not perfect like our house is usually like 80% of the time a mess but he just does things and doesn't even ask or you know negotiate with me like who's gonna do what like he just does it and I think a big reason for that especially now is because you know I have been like just feeling very very tired and pregnant all the time. So I'm trying to embrace the slower pace of what this pregnancy is requiring of me and trying to just find yeah, peace in that. So yeah, I um, have a couple more things to do today. I think Sarai is gonna end up spending the night or a couple nights with her Gigi just to kind of give us a little break, which is again, the support is unmatched and I wouldn't know what to do <laughs> if I didn't have like all these different people in my in my life to help me just continue on. Me and Mark might just dip out somewhere to just decompress to just like have a break i need like a change of scenery so yeah i think we're gonna go somewhere i don't know where we're gonna go yeah i'm still looking but yeah need it need it very much and yeah so we'll see if we end up going somewhere this week i need to just buckle down and book something and just call it a day and stop playing so i'm gonna finish my work and then make some arrangements because yeah your girl needs a break a real one a real one oh behind the scenes um, shooting today shooting some things for sephora y'all will see this up soon here's me y'all this new part wig is still holding on still holding on strong hi bum got sweats on underneath right this but y'all won't see that in these pictures <laughs> So we're gonna have to rearrange it because it's too wide and I already know I'm gonna probably post this in like a four or five. So this probably all needs to just be in the same side. So I can do this. I want it to feel a little bit like natural. Like this is how I would naturally have it on my, on my sink. So we just got to our little staycation hotel in Fort Worth. So it was only like a 45 minute drive from the house, but we still wanted to feel like we left. So we're excited. And it actually does feel like we left. It does feel like we left. So yeah, so we about to chill. We actually just ate a little while ago. So now we're like kind of got the itis a little bit. We had a long day today. We were up and out the house by what, seven? 715? Yeah because we had to go get a loaner for our car because we had some system issues. So we went and did that first on the other side of town and then went home, filmed, shot a bunch of content and then- Got in the car. Got- 45 minutes to the other side of town. To yeah, and then we ate at the restaurant. We're staying at the Sinclair, and the restaurant was really good. We went to like the main lobby, and then they have another restaurant, like Wicked even lower, Butcher. Wicked Butcher, that we have reservations to eat at tomorrow night. So that'll be good. That'll be really good. Date night. Date night vibes. First date of March. 
first date of March. We've been trying to we've been trying to do this date night thing once a week. I'm not trying. We have been. Doing. We've been successful. <laughs> we've been successful. She wanna give her credit. Oh, we've been trying. We've been doing it. I'll make sure. He has. He had it. He has. This is so cool. <laughs> Really? It's in the mirror. That's so dope. Wow. Okay, let's see the rest of our room. So cute. 